A new Mega Constructs reveal showcases the Razorback, but also some interesting Reach ties as well as someone from Blue Team. The head of AGS posts a summer job available for anyone to sign up, which is very interesting timing, hinting at something larger coming very soon. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So for today's video, we have two different parts of this, guys. I'm going to cover the first Marley hard news itself, and the second part is going to be also Halo news, but a little bit more theory crafting involved with that as well, as I do believe we're going to see something really huge with the pro teams and possibly grassroots members later this summer before the release of Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So here is the newest reveal of a Mega Constructs package deal that's going to be available for us. And first you see the Razorback right here, which looks very awesome. But when you actually look into it, you see some more interesting things like some Reach weapons that we haven't seen yet. Again, more ties to Reach for Halo Infinite. And as well, is this possibly Kelly? This next image here does a better job of kind of showcasing everything that we're looking at right here. Again, you get to see the Razorback in all its awesome glory. This vehicle looks so cool. I'm very excited for this. And then down here is actually very interesting. You see the Brute holding a plasma launcher from Halo Reach. Now, again, I did make a previous video about this, talking about how Halo Infinite seems to have a really strong tie to Reach, and it's much more than just aesthetic and cool weapons. I think there's gonna be something involved with the planet Reach or the game itself. Like this section here from the most recent development update from Joseph Stain talking about the reveal that the first season is going to be called Heroes of Reach. So it's going to be a very strong Reach influence. We do know that there is going to be the Reach Mark V Armor Core part of this first season of Halo Infinite. He also continues on saying, I can share that we picked Heroes of Reach as a seasonal theme for a very specific reason and then links the Halopedia page to the planet of Reach, saying it's a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point for a new generation of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils of and mysteries of a galaxy that has been fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. I just believe that this is just something more than just a coincidence why we see so much of a Reach influence. We also get to see the Grunt Mule as well carrying a plasma pistol it looks to be two shock rifles which i believe are more anti-vehicle weapons as well as the spike grenade as well which isn't the first time we've actually seen this guy we first saw our grunty boy in game for the first time in this image over here on the far right with the ultra wide example you can see he's also able to carry some grenades on the back of this grunt as well. So I have a feeling we're going to be seeing this little guy around the battlefield quite a lot. And for this Mega Construct section, we see the classic Reach shotgun coming back again. This isn't the first time we've seen it come back within these Mega Constructs reveals. But again, a big strong influence of Reach with Halo Infinite involved with it. And I was showed this on my live stream last night, guys, which you do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. If you want to catch us, link in the description of this video, where they were actually asking if this is Kelly from Blue Team, which is a little difficult to say just because this is Kelly from Halo 5 right here. They also rock in the EVA helmet, but you can see that the armor coloring is a little different. Generally with Halo, they try to maintain the same kind of color scheme. It's because since you can't see the face, that the color of the character is very important. Though, if you look at the recent cover art for Shadows of Reach, you can see Kelly here on the right side, whose coloring does look a little bit more gray-white to match that Mega Constructs, the similar kind of helmet as well, and is also holding a shotgun, which is kind of in theme with Kelly. Now, this certainly doesn't guarantee that Kelly is coming back within Halo Infinite. We do know that it's going to be a chief focus story as stated by 343 as well. Now it has been confirmed that not everything we see in these Mega Constructs reveals will be in Halo Infinite, but I mean it has it written right there on the box. Again, more Halo Reach influence strongly tied to Halo Infinite. So I'm just saying, when you're playing Halo Infinite, just keep an eye out for it. This next bit of Halo news is very interesting for the timing of it because Tashi, the head of HGS, posts up this job posting for the summer for an HGS esports coordinator, saying that this role is for the summer as they gear up for the Halo Infinite release. Now I did read through this whole document and a lot of it kind of seems to be kind of copy paste text. It's just kind of like a multi-purpose job, whatever they need someone to do to help out around the time and around the area, they can. But this is very interesting as one week prior, we had this said by HCS development blog. 
as this HES blog is here to talk about like creating a good team environment for these organizations to thrive within Halo's ecosphere, but there were no team announcements within this blog update about the teams in Halo Infinite because it sounds like they have something else special brewing up right now. So you know, unfortunately that's not any kind of news that they're able to share just yet. Also, it would be pretty lame if we just listed out all the teams in a blog like this. Don't worry, we and the teams are cooking up some awesome plans to make an announcement. We intend to make a lot of noise when we're ready this summer. And this interesting little bit of news, again happening right around the same time as well, where Ace, who is a prominent Halo pro, his team actually won the last in-person event back in Anaheim, and they just announced that their Halo Infinite squad is gonna be Boo Boo Doo Boo, Falcated, and Bound, along with Ace, with Tusk as their coach. And this announcement was done back on July 2nd. And from my memory, that there aren't really any kind of HCS events going on right now, or have anything publicly announced at the moment right now. But how could HCS make a lot of noise later this summer? I think one way they could do this is by having an HCS event with Halo Infinite. That's why they need to hire on some new people to help coordinate these events within the summertime within possibly Halo Infinite because I couldn't imagine them going back to Halo 3 or something like that for competitive Halo. I know we do have that fan fest thing that's going on right now for Xbox, but that's something completely different. I think this would be an amazing way to do maybe pull off like a Valorant kind of thing when it comes to getting codes for the flight access or the public technical previews as they're now phrasing the flight process now. So you imagine having these pro teams live streaming themselves playing the game along with possibly the grassroots members as well. It'd be a great way to help cross promote and maybe while you're in the stream of Halo or one of these content creators, they have drops enabled to where you can get a code for the technical preview of Halo Infinite. Again, that's pure speculation, but it definitely drove a lot of hype and excitement for Valorant. So why wouldn't it not work for Halo? I just think having that HCS update and then a week later have this job posting and then a couple days after that HCS post, we had the announcement of a new team formation for Halo Infinite. I just feel like there's something brewing in the background that we don't quite know yet. But as soon as we get any kind of a form of an announcement of this potential HCS big event to create some noise as stated by Tashi, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. If you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so or missed any content from me recently, I have a playlist link right here on the video guys to catch all the Halo news that we've been uploading daily about. So thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.